Have Miami condo sales slowed? Maybe. Are there any signs of imminent price declines? Q1 Miami condo stats are here. Let's check them out. Sap Niakon here, giving you another insight into Miami's hot housing market. We're reviewing the latest insider data on what's happening with luxury condos. That's a million and up. Things are certainly getting interesting here, and our predictions from last year are unfolding as we expected so far. Let's get into the Q1 2023 trends. Sales are way up in first quarter 2023 as compared to the last quarter of 2022. And sales are down from the first quarter of 2022, which is basically the same quarter last year. But keep in mind that the first quarter last year was Boondoggle's record strong market of all time. So we can only expect that sales have to slow down for us to get a little bit back into normal. However, prices are up in Q1 2023 as compared to last year. In some neighborhoods, we're actually hitting record pricing. In months of inventory, which is basically how long it takes to sell everything that's currently on the market today, it's actually a little higher than last year, which means the momentum has slowed. But in March, we saw the months of inventory drop by two months compared to the last quarter, which means that the momentum has picked back up again, which is a good thing. The days on market also dropped. Days on market is how long a property on average takes to sell in this market. And so days on market dropping means that properties are selling faster than they were the last quarter, which is in line with what we're seeing on the ground. Condos that are priced appropriately within market range are selling quickly. All right, talking about preliminary numbers, comparing Q1 of 2023 to Q4 of 2022, we had a 32% increase in sales. Now, why is that? There was definitely lots of hesitation at the second half of last year between the interest rate hikes, the FTX debacle. We, we messed up big. And just people wondering if recession was coming, but people roared into January with much higher confidence, a lot more activity as FTX didn't end the world and the interest rates backed off a bit. And so the typical high season demand activated and we're still seeing that through the second quarter and we expect second quarter numbers to be pretty darn good as well. Comparing first quarter this year to first quarter last year, we are down 50%, over 50% in sales. Yikes, I mean, that's, that's painful. But those numbers are actually very strong historically compared to any pre-pandemic quarter we've ever had first quarter. In fact, this is the strongest quarter we've ever seen since before the pandemic. Overall, Miami luxury condo prices are up. Compared to Q4 of last year, we are up 1.5% with median price increasing a whopping 9.1% to 1.8 million median sales price. For those saying the prices are heading down, we're just not seeing it in any of the stats. The months of inventory are a little bit high. As the quarters go on, usually that dips down. It's, it's a typical cycle where the end of the year, months of inventory goes up. And as we get past the high season, months of inventory goes back down and it flows again. So, so far, so good. And case in point, we're seeing the highest median price per square foot ever for, for million plus condos in Miami at $963 per square foot. Regarding overall Miami inventory, the months of inventory has started to drop as we expected and continue to expect into the second quarter. We dropped to 17 months in March from a high of 19 months in February. What screws our months of inventory numbers up is pretty unique to Miami. There's a lot of truly unmotivated sellers keeping their units listed for months and even years on end for really no good reason, just fishing. It kind of messes up the stats for everyone. So you know what? Shame on you greedy sellers and you agents who play those games. In regard to overall days on market, Q4 2022 saw days on market continuing to drop across the board in most Miami neighborhoods and they give us confidence to believe that the beginning of 2023 would start out strong. These crept up a bit in Q1, but this is pretty normal for first quarters because of the seasonality of the holidays. The second half of the year, properties sit a little bit longer, and as they start selling in Q1, it shows a little bit higher days on market, but that's kind of part of the game. And in Q2, we usually see the days on market drop again. So what does this mean if you're a buyer? If you're looking to buy in Miami, buying here is still a good investment. There's not much to fear. We're bucking the national trends. People keep moving here. And that's really true for both existing properties and pre-construction properties. They're both selling very well, which could prove to have a major upside as we go along. If you're looking to make 20, 30% returns in a year, that may not happen. But if you're looking for a steady market, 
this is a great market to be in. So what does this mean if you're a seller? If you want to sell, you basically haven't missed the boat or window to sell. Prices are still up, they're still stable. There's just not a lot of inventory of good products. So if you have a great property at the market price, you're gonna sell. You may not sell in a day or a couple of weeks like it was last year, but there are plenty of buyers hungry to move and invest here. Before we go, I just want to remind you that in addition to all the great insight and content we create, we are expert brokers and agents here in Miami. If you're moving here or living here and need an agent, we'll give you the best real estate intelligence we can and the advice you deserve. So just reach out, we're here to help. Also, this month we'll be publishing our in-depth quarterly reports on condoblackbook.com, so be sure to check them out. There you can also sign up to receive our blogs and reports on a weekly or monthly basis. Got comments, questions? Leave a message below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and have a great day.